What up gang, it's Maya and this thing and I'm back with another freaking video and as y'all can tell by the title below, I will be doing a sew in. These are the bundles that my client bought. You can actually get them from the beauty supply. They were pretty decent quality and a pretty decent price. My client was looking for something quick since this was going to be a quick style. She didn't leave it in for a long time but it lasted uh, pretty long if you ask me. Like the hair quality and everything, it held up pretty decent as well as um, it held a curl and everything. But y'all will see that later on in the video. So the first thing I'm doing is braiding her hair. This is me sectioning out her leave out and braiding it up to put to the side. I do not usually do a really thick leave out. I like to keep it a little thin unless my client has thin hair, which she does not. She has pretty uh, thick hair. So I did like a little bit of leave out just so that when I flat iron her hair, it won't be too much um, heat, you know, on her leave out. Also, I just do it because I feel like nobody needs that much leave out in the end. But anyways, y'all, so I'm going to go ahead and start to braid her hair um, around and I usually would do an anchor braid but I did not do it because I asked her if it was okay if I glued the last track on top and she said yeah because she knows how to properly remove it and that's one thing I have to make sure if my client knows how to properly remove it or they can come back to me and I will remove it because if you put glue in your hair and you don't know how to remove it the right way it will probably damage your hair follicles take some of your hair out or you know something like that and we don't want that so I always double check with every client that I have if it's okay if I glue the last track if they just don't like the glue then I will not put it in at all and I'll just do a really small braid around a leave out called the anchor braid and I'll just sew that uh, last track around that but if not i will glue it because y'all it looks 10 times better now this is what i do to tuck in the braid that i have leaving out um the braid that i'm doing right now i just grab the other braid that's in front of it i just grab the rest of the braid that's in front of it pick it up and finish braiding the rest of the braid all the way down and i just do that all the way around So yeah, this is just one of many different types of braiding patterns that I do. You can make your braid smaller than mine, bigger than mine. Well, I wouldn't recommend going any bigger than this because you don't want it really lumpy and everything. You want a really nice flat install. So I would recommend doing braids about this size or smaller, depending on your desired look. Um, I did want a little volume to this look so it doesn't have to be extremely flat, but I don't want it really bulky because that's just not cute. I forgot to mention that y'all can also add a braid at the very bottom of her head going horizontal and this just helps with um, starting off the first track. It's a little blurry over on this side of the camera, but I'm just going to change up real quick. It's kind of dark and everything, but I'm basically just braiding the hair down, just doing the same thing I was doing um, in the first clip. So yeah, I'm just going to braid everything around and I will be back when it's time to do the install. Some clients may need like um, some braiding hair around their edges or the perimeter of their head, but it's all up to you and what you think is better for your client. Some people might need a hairnet. Like I said, it's all up to y'all and what you believe is best for your client. Y'all could also leave some hair out in front of the ear right there in case your client likes to swoop their hair behind their ear. But in this case, my client did not want it because she did not want all that leave out, which is fine because it still looks just as good. This is how everything looks now that I'm done braiding. Everything is nice, neat, and flat. Um, like I said, you could do it smaller if y'all want, but I feel like this is just fine. And now we're gonna move on to moisturizing my client's hair. 
I'm going to be using Do Grow and I'm also going to be using Soul for Eight together. These work miracles because it doesn't help you stop itching. It'll help you stop itching as much as it would be itching. And then the Do Grow really helps stimulate your follicles so that you have um, more hair growth during your install. Now I'm going to go ahead and start sewing the wefts on the hair and I will be posting another sew-in video on myself so that y'all can see another type of way that I do it. Um, so pretty much I'm flipping the tracks which you will see at the top of the head. Um, I want a lot of hair in the front because I just want that soup effect or in case she wants to swoop um, the hair behind her ear it'll give it a really nice look. So yeah like I said I'm flipping the tracks which you will see right now. I wrap the thread around three times then I pull it and it locks in. It does not move y'all and the track will not come down. Pretty much this just helps give it a little bit of volume and also it prevents the shedding because when you cut your tracks girl it will shed okay this is just something that i do if i have to cut it i will because at the end of the day we want it to look really nice and we want it to last long so you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes most of the time i'm just flipping the track which is what y'all can see me doing all the way around the head so yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and finish sewing all the hair around and i will meet y'all back when i get to the top of her head So y'all gonna see me cut the track because like I said, I don't want it too lumpy on the side. Um, I could have flipped it and laid it flat, but at the end of the day, like I said, I want it to be real sleek. So I just went ahead and cut it. Um, it will have probably a little bit of shedding, but it's perfectly fine after she just give it a few brushes. So that's going to be the last weft that we sew down until I get to the top of the head. So right now I'm measuring out that last track just to see how much um, hair is needed for that perimeter. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of glue on it and I'm just going to lay it. Like I said, y'all, this is completely optional. You do not have to put glue on your client's hair or if you're doing it on yourself. If you don't know how to take it down, you do not have to put glue on your own hair. So this is what I was talking about. I really want to show y'all how super flat and natural it's going to look. Um, it's going to blend really good simply because I don't have any braids right around the perimeter of the leave out. And so it's going to blend seamlessly. So yeah, this is just how it looks. And we are pretty much completely done with this install. I will be straightening her hair really quick. And I'm just going to press it out really light. Probably give it like one or two passes, not more than that. And um, if your client wants curls, you can go ahead and curl the leave out the second time around. And it'll just help everything blend more better. After all that is done, I'm going to go ahead and put some edge control on her edges. It's whatever works better for your client and their hair texture. I'm just doing a little small swoop, nothing too major because she does want it nice and classy. And this is pretty much the overall look. I crimped her hair out and that completes the style. She liked it. I loved it. It's very voluminous. I don't know how to say the word, y'all. It's, it's very full and pretty, but not too thick. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was just so nice on her. So she loved it, which makes me so happy. And that's pretty much it. I really hope this was very descriptive for 
for y'all because I talked y'all ears off in this video and I know my voice is annoying y'all but I had to get this video out to show my ladies how I do my side part sewing so if you like this video just make sure you give me a big old thumbs up comment and subscribe and I will catch y'all in my next video